Hello, I want to uh, discuss in this video why I chose the uh, type of dome I chose for the dome home project, which is a monolithic uh, wooden dome structure. It's designed to be made from wood and it's uh, at least the framework of it. It's mainly of wood and it is again a monolithic style. This is not a monolithic style dome. This is a uh, what they call it ellipsoidal, ellipsoidal no, uh, dome, which is a combination of <clears throat> monolithic arcs and uh, this uh, curved. Um, interjections here, cross interjections, cross members. So they come uh, and surround the structure, the dome itself, in an ellipse. That's in addition to the arcs and the rings around it, as you can see in this 3D image very sturdy, very strong, perhaps one of the strongest and coherent uh, domes that there are. These are what they call the geodesic domes and they, as you can see, the smaller they are, the late the least amount of materials and members that they take they call each type uh, they separate them by frequency series for example this small one is a two frequency series usually of 2029 20, feet in diameter three frequency series 30 to 40 feet in diameter four frequency series 42 to 51 feet in diameter five frequency series 52 to 60 feet in diameter and the six frequency series 65 to 80 feet in diameter and those are the different types of geodesic domes this is the same type of dome classified in different uh, things, different categories such as a V's, the V's, amount of V's used, 2V, 3V, 4V. These are different types of domes as well. As you can see, this would be closer to the one chosen for the dome home project catenary this is uh, again different different types of styles dome types this one's a pointed hemispherical which is a half a sphere segmental about a quarter of a sphere catenary which is the ovoid or elliptical faceted. This is more like a beak pointed, not necessarily a smooth arc. And you have a combination of uh, the bases there, hemispherical on pendatives, hemispherical on squinches, on pendatives. I'll show you an example of this type of dome I have a picture of on squinches and cloister dome. This is more like the faceted but just with four sides, pyramidal four sides curved. <clears throat> and just this is just to show the available types of domes that there are out there for construction. Of course, each having different uh, requirements.
requirements as far as materials, methods, construction methods, design methods, etc. This is a computer aided uh, model or set series set of models for the construction of a dome. As you can see, these are three side pyramids when put together uh, in different amounts different quantities then you can see start to see how they fit how they may fit And again, these, this is the shape, the tetrahedron, octahedron, and the iconosahedron, icosahedron. And this is the amount of frequencies, I believe. This is another photo I found of different types of domes, perhaps uh, more classical styles. This appears to be just a half a sphere. This is more of a flattened sphere. This is more of an elongated sphere, looks like, maybe. This is a pulled or onion shaped sphere and these two appear to be just uh, half spheres or elongated spheres with um, some sort of decoration on top and uh, I guess those are the years that they were developed or thought to have been developed perhaps construct it. This is the same graphic with various other styles of domes again, early and origins. Dome of the Rock, that is a uh, very famous dome at a mosque in Jerusalem, which I have a photo of. I will share that here momentarily these uh, of course being more of a pyramid multi-faceted multi pyramid these being different shapes of domes uh, spherical elongated flattened etc pulled This is a spherical, almost a complete sphere. And of course they all have their different names and uh, perhaps they, when they were developed and or built. And uh, some of them have the name of the structure that has or had them included in their um, construction. and these are other types of domes some of them are in use today this may be the uh, Basilis Cathedral I believe in Moscow that may be that maybe somewhere else So again, these are different types of domes, hemispherical, onion shape, and polyhedral. Different geometries for different types of domes here shown as well. Ribbed dome, trimmed ribbed dome, the lamella dome. Trimmed lamella dome, 
three-way grid dome and the four-way grid dome. <clears throat> Again, these are quite complex geometries and arrays that, with perhaps the exception of this one, the ribbed dome, which perhaps uh, these two are probably the most uh, easy to build, easy to put together, construct. These require complex curves and machining cuts. This is a example or a set of drawings showing uh, various types of uh, domes. Perhaps some that have been built throughout history. This appears to have been built with bricks. Again, with their name types pumpkin dome, parachute dome, cloister dome for this one, cloister vault or domical vault. cell vault or a cell dome this one is the quadri quadripartite vault quadripartite dome sexpartite vault or hexapartite vault octopartite vault Tripartite vault, collot saucer dome, half dome, semi dome, or or a conch. And this is a dome on corbelin or corbelin, dome on squinches. Different styles, different types, architectural types of domes that have been developed throughout history. Cross vault dome. This one's uh, common in many instances. Pavilion vault, squinch vault, cell vault, and dome on pendatives. These are the geodesic domes again, many of them shown here with their various designated names, Pollux or Pollux, Rigel or Rigel, Vega, Phobos, Sirius or Cirrus, Antares, Polaris, Andromeda, Arctus, Eris and Arcturus. These are different styles of domes here that have been developed throughout history. I believe these are the um, historically Islamic type domes. First on the top left, OS type 1, CD type 1, DD type 1, TS type 1, OS type 2, CD type 2, DD type 2, CD type 3, DD type 3, TS type 2. that's it for the types of domes I'd like to share next um, why I chose a dome as a construction uh, geometry as a geometry for a construction for a building well it's mainly have to do not only with its aesthetic design which is pleasing to the eye but also because it is a very resistant structure 
as far as resisting uh, the pull of gravity and resisting the elements that push on the dome itself such as air, wind, rain, snow, even light. Uh, <clears throat> And I believe the reason for that is because, as you can see, this surface um, as you can see, this surface right here is flat. And a flat surface will tend to bow or sag anywhere where there's not enough support such as if there's not enough support here in the center this will over time tend to sag but this right here, it's this arc, the shape of it alone is curved against the direction and the opposite direction of any one sag, of any sag. So for this to sag, it takes a lot more load than it would take for this to sag. For this straight line to sag because it's already bent in the direction opposite the sag this arc it's an arc so it'll take a tremendous force and concentrate it at that to make that sag or bend or balk or kink inward. It doesn't take that much force comparatively to bend or sag or balk this straight line or this straight line here. And that is why I believe an arc or a dome is more is a more superior shape when it comes to resistant and uh, counter acting on downward forces again such as wind, rain, light, snow, dust and not to mention gravity which pulls everything down pulls this down and it is continuously acting on everything physical continuously so that is why I believe this structure is superior to this structure not to mention the dome itself which is this arc or arced structure spherical a sphere is nothing but a series of arcs uh, revolving around a center but if you notice here this is a cylinder a cylinder is an extremely uh, strong geometry as well much more than a box such as this or this it is inherently more strong and it requires less material for to achieve the same strength 
as a box requires a lot less material to require to achieve the same strength that is another important part of domes and cylinders they require a lot less materials to achieve the same strength as a flat straight surface an arc by itself will la take a lot more load than a let's say a pyramid by itself or even a flat roof by itself of course or even a roof just such as this we're using pyramids triangles and flat surfaces this is a structure that existed still exists in ruins in Hiroshima Japan I believe it was named the Hirosh Hiroshi Museum Hero Museum and uh, Hero Museum <coughs> and it was a structure that was utterly uh, devastated most of it a lot of it was utterly devastated by nothing other than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima in 1945 August of 1945 as many of you may know and guess what structure was able to withstand mostly the blast from this entire building this is that building after the blast of course this is the building after the blast as you can see the cylinder building the cylinder area of the building is relatively intact so is the dome frame of course the covers have been blown out paneling whatever shingles whatever material used to be there has been blown out but the frame is intact that says a lot as you can see much of the building is utterly destroyed the roof is gone yes some of the square parts of the building are intact because it was a very well constructed structure with tons of reinforcement look uh, apparently it appears to be a steel reinforced structure built I believe in 1912 by a Czech architect in Japan <clears throat> not sure who built it perhaps the Japanese or Japanese contractors but this will tell you will give you an idea of the strength of the dome and the cylinder this is that same structure as you can see little remains other than some straight walls but almost the entire cylinder has been spared at least its core geometries foundation and the uh, dome frame work as you can see it's a quite massive construction and if you think that this 
structure was far away from the blast think again because this structure my friends was almost over almost under the the center of the blast the epicenter or hypocenter of the blast this is the hypocenter or epicenter of the bomb dropped on Hiroshima of course this is a modern map but it does show the location of where it's dropped and as you can see this is the uh, Hiroshima Peace Memorial which is the structure that we just seen this one here that's another view of it another view it is now a memorial Hiroshima Peace Memorial in Hiroshima, Japan commemorating that time <clears throat> this is an older photo perhaps in 19 40s or 50s and as you can see this location take it uh, take note of where this river forks or wise and this bridge this is the exact location of the bomb epicenter where it dropped and this is the exact location of the memorial which is pretty much in the same spot and again notice in the fork and the bridge <laughs> Just uh, that just goes to show you the durability and strength that a dome and a cylinder can have as far as structure goes. It could uh, very possibly withstand a nuclear blast. Of course, materials and everything uh, does matter, but just as a comparison. So this is the dome shape I chose to go with, an ovoid or elliptical dome, and the dome style is a monolithic, monolithic meaning that there are no X's, there are no uh, curved or triangular geometries involved with the construction is just straight lines that are uh, pretty much uh, perpendicular to each other meaning 90 degrees to each other corners are 90 degrees a lot easier to construct so Alexa Homes uh, is a company that apparently used to build these or still built builds these they don't provide a lot of details as far as their construction method. It appears that they use wood. Like I said, like I used myself a wood wooden belt on the bottom. Pretty substantial looks like. And again, that's to counter the tendency of a dome to spread on the bottom with the loads on top, whether it's its own weight through gravity or loads of again air, rain, snow, wind and even light <clears throat> over time will cause will cause strain, downward strain inside even side strain and forces on this 
uh, structure. These rings here, or belts, appear to be substantial as well. They appear to be made in layers. Perhaps this is more than one layer. Perhaps this is a layer or a two by f a excuse me a one by four one by four inch belt here and then another another one by four inch layer here. You can kind of see it right there how they're divided. There's a line right here. There's a line right there line right here so there's these are two separate look they appear to be two separate belts and I'll show you wh uh, why I believe that's the case there's another belt here on the inside more like a baseboard that goes all, perhaps all the way around the perimeter the inside perimeter there's another belt right here it appears to be a, about the same diameter as this, excuse me, the same thickness or the same length or width, same width as that one, this one down here. These appear to be 2 by 4s or even smaller. But we'll go with 2 by 4s because they do appear to be 2 by 4 here. <clears throat> and this appears to be uh, the 2x4 is supporting another it seems to be supporting or or yeah supporting and resting on both another piece of lumber. I'm not sure how long. If it's a belt that goes all the way around, I doubt it. And I'll show you here why. But it seems to be <clears throat> sitting on a 2x4 and supporting a 2x4. Perhaps a few of these making up a frame, a small frame, let's say one, two, three, four, with four pieces. Maybe more, maybe they vary, because this one here appears to be two, let's say, let's call them by windows, two windows, with a frame. This looks appears to be thicker meaning that there is probably two side by side two sides of the frame a frame for this one and a frame for that one perhaps this one's longer but that's the array that it seems to that Lexa Holmes use, seems to have used they seem to have used uh, what appears to be frames supported by these columns, small columns. Perhaps these are longer panels. There seems to be a thicker tool, a double member uh, set right there. Perhaps going all the way here having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven members and going all the way across perhaps having a curved member right here which these are resting on perhaps they are cut straight pieces which are cut at each uh, at each window intersection, you know, to follow the curvature of the entire dome. If so, these are pre-manufactured, and I'll show you why I believe that's the case here. These are pre-manufactured pieces or 
I would call them I'll call them windows because they appear to be small windows they're pre-manufactured window frames using uh, CAD or some other type of computer aided software to determine the size shape you know it would be designed in CAD as a entire sh entire structure and then divide it into different pieces to be individually manufactured and pieced together like a Lego set so that appears to be the case there appears to be actually more than probably more than two layers there appears to be one layer two layers three layers perhaps the frame we have a frame with however many columns with a member on the top member on the bottom there may be sandwiched um, member and then the next frame perhaps this one is one with a column here column there column there that is just what I'm taking from this very grainy and low quality photo that they have provided I know this photo is at least six seven years old because I remember looking at it um, many years ago perhaps 2017 and I believe I've seen the dates even uh, older than that in 2000 perhaps 2009 or so from 2009 a comment on this very photo <clears throat> take that back uh, I do have some documentation on it from 2013 August 2013 so this goes back way back to 2013 perhaps even older This appears to be a, an all wood construction. I believe they do say is an all wood construction with perhaps some exception of the outside materials and this skirt appears to be some sort of thin metal or plastic or vinyl. Perhaps with a concrete base, concrete blocks It makes me wonder what type of wood they use. Uh, this curvature looks pretty. The curvature it looks pretty uh, smooth. I can see some of these um, don't necessarily follow a curve. These are these appear to be straight pieces. They don't follow a curve. horizontally excuse me vertically they don't follow a vertical curve that's why they probably kept them short a short distance if this is a let's say a seven foot um, door entrance this point here would be three feet and a half and half of three feet and a half is one point seven five foot so this right here I would guess is a one point seven five foot high measurement one point seven five feet is one foot nine so 
So this window I would guess is about one foot seven, one foot eight. Just a rough estimate. So they're keeping these quite short. And the reason for that is to follow. So you can through cuts, through angling and cuts of these, you can angle the top base and therefore the next frame at an angle that will follow this curvature more or less. So this would be straight, cut at an angle here, cut at an angle here so it can slightly follow the next angle slightly more um, off center. This one's cut again following an angle a little slightly more off center than the last one and so on. <clears throat> that way it'll very nicely follow the curvature and it will appear to have to be a from far especially it will appear to be a smooth curve but it's actually not these however these horizontal curves appear to be quite smooth especially looking at these top ranks these top rings or belts again these appear to be quite substantial so there are probably several layers three layers appears to be three layers not just two as I, th I initially thought There appears to be a frame underneath, of course, to support the floor. Don't really show what geometry or array arrangement they used, whether it's polar, a polar arrangement with rays coming from the center, or if it's a more conventional grid arrangement, kind of like it is here, just a square grid. Not sure what they use, but I am. Um, willing to guess that they used an, a polar array just because I believe that's more uh, stable taking up less materials and all that so that's that again that is a quite low resolution photo it's the only one I was able to find this one here uh, shows the outside paneling. As you can see, they've used nothing but, appears to be nothing but wood products. Majority wood products. These panels appear to be cut to size. and attached whether it's nailed or screwed to the frame they appear to have been individually cut not necessarily uh, cut exactly they don't necessarily follow a certain pattern they appear to have been cut and put uh, next to each other to where they cover the entire surface you can see some rough cuts here at the openings for windows very rough cuts right here 
even very rough cuts here in the door so these don't appear to be pre-manufactured these panels they appear to be cut on site perhaps individually very rough cuts right here rough cuts over here for this window these appear to have been built close to another a home a standard structure as I can see here these are not out in the wilderness anywhere it looks it appears to be in someone's backyard or right next to someone's house perhaps for uh, perhaps these were among the first to be built perhaps these are built for storage or perhaps for living but there is already a living structure right next to it perhaps it's a neighbor who knows this is a nice rendering not done by me of course this was done by someone on the internet I may include the credit if I do find out who did this nice rendering but it appears to have been uh, very close to the style used for these domes the ovoid dome with nice windows which are arced so everything follows a very nice arc um, with exceptions of of course the square door and the square windows but it does at least include arcs to match the overall look of the dome <clears throat> it has quite a bit of windows appears in a large door this appears to be a multi-level um, structure this photo right here is a bit more revealing as far as uh, the construction and I mm, very highly suspect that they use pre-manufactured panelings or curved uh, sections because of this this appears to be a stack of pre-manufactured sections basically frames curved frames that are stacked together Uh, this floor area appears to have been a poured concrete pad but it could be wood paneling on a wood frame hard to tell from this photo here the nature of the panels appear to be clearer a lot clearer you can see this is a small section with the 2 by 4 appears to be 2 by 4 right across vertically this to be this appears to be another section curved pre-manufactured section so it's a quite believed to be a quite um, clever design that takes very little materials as you can see they have scaffolding and uh, they just go around and put together all that this appears to be a curved door frame a curved piece of lumber so 
so they have achieved that curve somehow perhaps they treated it they um, put it in, in a mold <clears throat> And they went around the perimeter and repeated this over and over. These appear to be these are these appear to be too thick to be uh, a two by four laying flat on its smaller side. It appears to be a one by four uh, on the outside. It's curved and on the inside it may be a 2x4 straight 2x4 laying flat and this curved 1x4 basically just covers it <clears throat> cover them and this is an entire piece and it more closely follows the curvature than if you just do a 2x4 straight piece straight piece straight piece straight piece if you don't cover it with this you would see the the, the straight uh, straight pieces you'll see the cut and then you go you're gonna see the straight piece a little in a slight different angle so I believe that's how these are hard to tell by the photo <clears throat> quite low quality low resolution again but I believe that's how that has been formulated. I believe it to be a quite unique method. You can see here the structure a little better. Two by four here, two by four here, two by four here, straight. You can see there's a straight line, straight line, straight line. If I'm not mistaken, <clears throat> they appear to be straight lines. And of course the outside is a curved overlay on those two by four. And that is all I can pick from this. Uh, this appears to be a curved member, perhaps for the door frame, perhaps a door frame in the back. And this is a finished version. As you can see, it has uh, sh uh, shingles have been added, perhaps wooden shingles, perhaps other type. A roof has been added. Even windows here up top. And this may or may not be the same location. I don't believe it is because um, of the trees and this smaller dome here. There are trees here. There's a mountain in the background as well, but. This perhaps is another location. This may be the same or another location. Perhaps another location because of this large tree here that I don't, I did not see in the other photo. And it appears that the house does not appear in 
there on that other photo. But this appears to be a finished product with nice uh, entrances with the curved art uh, overhang. Nice windows with uh, overhang. These uh, windows stick out and basically give you a more conventional squared or rectangular surface for a more conventional easier cheaper to access window and perhaps the same was for the door they nicely provided a flat surface for doors and windows this appears to be uh, shingles covering the side gray shingles and then brown shingles on top to resemble the roof nice looking very nicely done <clears throat> this perhaps is unfinished and needs to have a stair or ramp still built this looks still unfinished so this is probably a unfinished product almost finished but not quite this is another home with what appears to be wood shingles if I'm not mistaken smaller windows more like a covered patio covered uh, front porch concrete pads for the columns it appears to have pretty massive columns in the front with a straight flat roof in the front nicely done with the frames here matching the entrance door frame and covering overhang there for the windows top also so this may be a dual level structure and that is the last photo for that so I wanted to share some uh, monolithic domes to show you what a monolithic dome is monolithic dome is nothing but arcs the use of arcs or arced structures both horizontal and rings what I call rings or belts uh, excuse me that's vertically arcs placed vertically and then rings placed horizontally this appears to be in a tropical scenery semi-tropical and it appears to be some sort of pavilion very common in many areas <clears throat> especially parks and centers where people gather this is another uh, example of a monolithic dome using arcs this one appears to be concrete reinforced with steel with square doors and windows with an arc very plain very um, spherical perhaps an unfinished product and you know in need of details and uh, features on the outside this is another monolithic dome made uh, apparently from glass and steel 
it uses squared panels a over a square grid for the most part with the exception here it uses uh, triangles and then it goes back to square panels pierce like this may be some sort of greenhouse and this is a inside frame look at uh, that same structure as you can see is a steel framework very difficult to make for the average uh, residential builder this is something that is to be pre-manufactured and put together perhaps some welding done here for that um, part so these are apparently pieces put together from a pre-manufactured uh, set of structures as you can see this one is a entire piece that was pre-manufactured and then this arc also part of that these arcs appear to be entire structures complete welded structures so we have one here one here and this arc in the middle which is just the arc and then this one two three four five member is attached that looks like a triangle a T and followed with the arc and on top it just appears to uh, these appear to just continue being attached here in between by these braces so this is a brace this is a brace this is a brace this is an entire piece right here right, pre-manufactured So this is a good example of a monolithic dome. This one <clears throat> appears to be made with metal tubes, metal rings, ring tubes, or sections of tubes curved, and then arc, arcs, and arc, which is uh, appears to just come together here in the center and attached in the center perhaps in a slot they fit in a slot that has eight spokes so that's a monolithic uh, dome right there this is another example of a monolithic dome perhaps metal and plexiglass it appears like this appears to be an example of a wood monolithic dome and another wooden monolithic dome using nothing but appears to be 2 by 4s mostly 2 by 4s perhaps you have uh, appears to be two layers one layer here one layer there there appears to be a fabric of some sort on the inside already perhaps a that may be an air form inflatable air form to support to give the support it needs for while it's being built perhaps it has already been built and 
the inside is just it's beginning to get covered up. So that is another example of a wooden monolithic dome frame. It appears it's on a concrete pad, perhaps reinforced concrete. And this is another example of a monolithic wooden frame, looks like it is made from wood. And it appears it follows the a close resemblance to the Alexa home method. But with the exception that exception that it doesn't appear to have paneling. These are appear to be two by four pieces. Two by four. And looking on the on the hind side, this is a very low quality photo as well. It appears to be covered by a belt on both sides. A belt on this side and belt on that side. I, I couldn't tell you for sure if these are wooden belts or metal. It's hard to tell from this low quality photo. But I like to say they're wood. Since these appear to be wood. And that is all for the monolithic dome examples. Some primitive domes I found some photos of. They are built out there using some sort of uh, natural tree materials. Those are probably um, some sort of barley of tree or tree materials or materials gathered from palm trees and held together by ropes attached together very very intricately manufactured and made perhaps by experts perhaps quite durable so another view of the same homes and this is in East Swatini in Africa what used to be known as Swaziland. This is another example of uh, dome construction. This is an ellipsoidal dome example quite large building as you can see by looking at this what appears to be a barn full-size tree full-size light pole this thing is huge perhaps for as you know for some type of manufacturing or or storage granary perhaps there are other structures inside of this but this appears to be a arc here an arc on each corner so four main arcs followed by arcs here 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 this is a another example of an ellipsoidal Dome. This looks like a 
combination of monolithic and ellipsoidal. As you can see, it's made of steel members and glass. Appears to be a greenhouse. And just to give you a few examples of some famous uses of domes throughout the world, this is of course the Basilis Cathedral or Basil's Cathedral Cathedral in Moscow making ample use of both domes, onion shaped and cylinders all throughout arcs, pyramids, all sorts of shapes and colors. This is the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem. Monolithic in style. Very pleasing and famous structure. This is the Duomo di Firenze, Duomo Florence, one of the earliest domes and largest. As you can see, these are people standing there for reference. It is humongous. These columns there are about, I would say, about twice the height of a human, of an average person. This appears to be a door for a person to go through. Same here, so that gives you the scale of this very early dome structure made entirely, almost entirely, of brick, red brick which is amazing in itself you th making use of arcs and brickwork not to mention these smaller ones <clears throat> this is the great stupa dome it appears to be have made do have been made of brick as well This is an onion shaped dome called the Green Dome at the tomb of the mosque in Medina in Saudi Arabia. Combination of a onion dome style and a monolithic dome. And this is of course is the pantheon to the gods in Rome. It is believed to be the largest early dome made of almost entirely concrete, unreinforced. And that will give you an idea of the strength of a dome but this has lasted probably, uh, I would say, close to over a thousand years, still standing. And as you can see, arcs are used here because this member acts as an arc. This entire member here acts as an arc, even though it's part of the other members. But the, the way it is shaped, the squares basically make these uh, arcs and belts. So a monolithic style early dome on a cylinder. 
This is of course the Reichstag dome, the modern Reichstag dome. This is a glass and steel monolithic structure. Appears to be as seen here. And it appears to be nothing but a curious something for people to walk around in, perhaps access the top and have a good view of the city. This is the Siena Cathedral Dome from the inside. Using various uh, hexagons, an array of hexagons inside of these arcs, arc structures. Again, shared. It looks like a pair, four pairs of massive arcs with a shared cylinder structure that shares the load between all the arcs and of course the cylinder all strong cylinder with columns this is an outside view of the same Siena Cathedral Dome as you can see it uses a um, series of arcs and rings or belts to give it a monolithic dome look. This is of course the St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican in the Vatican or Vatican City in Rome. <clears throat> As you can see, it uses the same series of arcs. I am not sure if this is steel reinforced or is it just stonework? Or concrete? And of course, this is the Taj Mahal using the very large dome appears to be made of brick and mortar of various sizes and just to give you an idea of the size this is a these are people here so that's how large the structure is This is the Pantheon, again another view of it in Rome. That's the outside of it. That is it. Oh, and this is of, of course the US Capitol Dome a monolithic style dome again using ample use of cylinders and columns for support that's the view of it at night thank you very much we'll leave it at that I just wanted to share the uh, different uses of domes why I chose the dome as a structure for a residential project and the advantages of the dome and how it has been used throughout history. Thank you very much.